Hey guys, well, it's been a little while so I thought I'd, I'd post um, sort of an update video um, and share some some of the stuff that I've been working on here. Uh, I've been doing mostly web work, I really haven't been playing games. You don't really make money if you sit around and play games all the time. Not to say that like, games don't kick ass because they do, but you know, got other priorities in life too. Um, I'm actually um, waiting for two things to happen. I'm waiting for SATA 3. Um, which is, they want you to refer to it as SATA 6 gigabit because the Intel SSDs are completely saturating the 3 gigabit SATA ITA2 um, and a 6 core processor which unfortunately I think AMD is not going to come out with until this time next year which is asinine so I'm thinking Intel so probably Intel beginning of next year um, fanboys shut the hell up uh, I'm not a fanboy either way. I just want my system to kick ass when I decide to actually spend the money. So, but most of my people who are subscribed aren't fanboys. Thankfully, you guys are actually pretty level-headed. Thank goodness. So, anyway, um, so yeah. So uh, I'm not going to go from a two-core socket 9 to a four-core to only have a six-core come out like a month later. Why? So, uh, so six-core and six gigabit SATA native that's what I want so I mean I really haven't been playing games that much I the only thing I've been playing is Diablo 2 because Diablo 3 was announced so and you know I just go in there I do an MF run what's an MF run magic find that's basically what the game's about is finding magic items so um anyway um what I've been working on I've been working on my site obviously that's what I'm always working on um I'm working on version 2.8.6 alpha 2. Now, um, 2.8 is a major version. A major version encompasses my general, what I'm capable of within the general range of time. So I've been working on this major version of my site for about a year. I have been um, I updated it about my birthday last year. It was all functionality. I got the functionality to work. Then the fifth preview, which is 2.8.5, it was mostly about the color editor and kind of just getting the styling all updated. And in this version, I'm working on that's not live, but I'm going to show you guys some stuff. It is basically about database stuff for me. So database is like you you register, you sign up, your information has to be stored in a database somewhere. So I'm doing PHP and MySQL. Um, now there are different phases for even this kind of subversion. There's alpha one, alpha two, alpha three. There will um, there will be alpha three. There's there will be beta one, beta two, and beta three. And I'm gonna go to version 2.9. Yeah. So what am I doing with all these different versions? What is this stuff? Why do we care? Well, I know my gamers won't. You know, gamers. All the all the interesting stuff has already been said in this video. Um, programming wise, um, alpha one was about getting just basically getting some stuff to work. Alpha two is about modularizing it module like Legos you could take like a bunch of chunks of Legos and put them together you could like build a single floor and build another single floor and then stack them module Legos yeah um, and uh, reusable that's the main idea you can reuse the same code over and over again so I right, that's what I do dynamic modular code so um and preview I'm sorry alpha 3 um, so 2.8.6 alpha 3 will be about basically once I finish up the modularization of alpha 2 I will basically alpha 3 will be about just kind of preparing it for the beta release and that's kind of like rounding up the features making sure everything pretty much works and then I'm just gonna mark it beta 1 and then I'm gonna work on beta 1 while I have a it's a it's a closed invite um, so like if you play World of Warcraft, you know, they had a closed, uh, closed beta and an open beta. Well, anyway, so I'm going to invite, like, my buddies, you know, I've known in life and whatnot, um, from my IMs and from games and stuff, and just have, like, you know, a couple dozen people just test it out, and, just, you know, there's nothing groundbreaking there. And then, um, the open beta, which will be version 2.8.6 beta 2, will be an open beta it'll still be standalone it won't be integrated 
into my website. It will be on my website, of course. Excuse me, I just ate. And, um, and that's when you guys will have a crack at it. Um, and there will be hopefully some more features and stuff. And then I'm going to have beta 3 where I'm basically going to just integrate it into the rest of my website. And then um, I'm going to call a day or a version and start work on version 2.9. Now, um, the features that are there aren't going to be groundbreaking. It's all just registration, member list, profiles and stuff. Um, you, uh, a lot of it's going to be smoothed out. There's going to be a lot of Ajax. There's going to be, it's going to be lightning fast. I mean, you can literally, if you have an email program, um, and I am, like, I have Yahoo Messenger open here, and I get an, I get an email, uh, like, for example, when I register here, um, the site is going to send you an email, and in the, in the email subject is going to be the activation code. It's only three digits. So basically, it's Ajax, so it doesn't reload the page, it just changes the layer. It says, insert the activation code here. The code's in the subject. I see the subject, I see the code, I say, okay, it's 122. So I plug in 122, Ajax, boom. So the first page I go to, I click on the register, opens up a layer, like a prompt, like if you go to my website and you click on site options, exact same deal. Click register, and Ajax is your information to the server, the server validates it, so it either says it's valid or not, um, and if it succeeded it or not. If it did, you activate. It sends you the email. You plug in the code, then you register. You're signed in. And this is all on a single page load, which I love Ajax, which kicks ass. So anyway, um, if you're technical, you know just how sweet that's going to be. And trust me, it's going to be even sweeter than, than I'm talking about it. So let me show you guys some of um, the stuff here before I run out of time, um, because I've been working on a ton of stuff. So uh, here's just this is a, a basic mock-up. Mock this isn't the actual same thing as my website. It just looks like it. It's kind of like a little standalone thing here. So uh, I'm gonna just going to go ahead and sign in. And whatever page you sign into, it um, you automatically it just signs you in. Uh, this is just the basic member list. You have name, gender, status, join, last date um, that you visited. Um, this is kind of cool. The version of my website that you registered at, it will even include alpha and beta numbers. So you can brag to all your friends that um, been registered at my site like you know for like 20 years whatever I don't know doesn't matter um, you know, uh, let's see here you can uh, view a profile I know the avatars aren't working right now it does it looks kind of junky I don't care this is alpha so but it's there it works um, it displays your information nothing grand profile editing uh, you can edit your profile here there's a lot of stuff that you can do messages oh yeah you can upload an avatar um, and, and I actually have PHP determine um, the stats here and uh, messages this by the way well we'll say non-plural if you only have a single uh, new message this is kinda cool um, when I tab this it highlights the entire row very keyboard accessible <clears throat> I click on a message boom well, let's click on a message that um, has text in it. So, yeah. Read, reply, same page. You think someone would have done that by now, but no. Anyway, um, it's all alpha, so the styling's not finished, and I've just kind of squashed this. This looks, this looks awesome at 1920 by 1200. Um, um, but yeah, um, there's some other stuff, but I'm not going to show you guys that. Um, right now, but what I will show you guys is this new thing I've come up with to easily create elements on a page. And here we go. So this is on my blog, uh, and you guys can actually go to the link, I'll put a link on the, um, the channel here, but uh, this creates an element, deletes an element, uh, and toggles an element. So this toggles after element one. This toggles before element one, inside of element one. Pretty self-explanatory. The big ordeal there is that um, it's a reusable JavaScript function and you can easily insert an element before 
after an inside an element. Unfortunately, JavaScript doesn't, um, W3C DOM doesn't support insert after natively, so it had to be programmed. So, yeah, tons of stuff. So anyway, I'm running out of time here, so I've been wicked busy. Um, it's nothing grand right now, but it's slowly materializing, and this there's going to be a lot of kick-ass things that you guys will be able to do eventually. Probably not until sometime early next year, but hey, you know, it's got to be done, and uh, it, you know, this kind of stuff will be eventually be part of my business site, so Anyway, I gotta go because I'm running out of time here. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll try to I'll try to get some new stuff up soon. I'll see you guys around.